Welcome to this quick everyday flow. Once you are ready, let's get started in a seated position. You can close your eyes or soften your gaze. And let's just take a few moments to arrive to the body, arriving to the space where you are in this moment. You can imagine you want to elongate your spine up towards the sky, rolling your shoulders up, back and down a few times. So shoulder circles, lowering the shoulders down, creating space for the lungs to breathe in oxygen. Let's take a breath through the nose, inhaling on your own rhythm and exhaling. You can gently open the eyes. With the next inhalation, reach the arms up towards the sky, lengthen. Exhale, bend the arms, elbows towards the ribs, spread the fingers wide. Let's continue this on your own rhythm. So with the inhalation, you lengthen. Exhalation, bend the arms. Few more. And last time we inhale, lengthen. And now lower your left fingertips on the left side, side bend. Elongating the right side of the body. Let's swap sides. Come back into the center. Now put the fingertips on top of your shoulders and let's roll big circles as if you'd like to draw a zero with your elbows. One more circle. And now let's do magnetic wrists always one part of the wrist is touching to one direction first and the opposite direction. Shake the hands and let's meet in a tabletop position. Few cat and cows arching your back, looking up, Rounding the spine as if you'd like to look towards your belly button. Let's meet back in the neutral. Extend your right arm in front, left leg back. Imagine two people are pulling you both directions, so lengthening your whole body. Inhale first. And on the exhalation, elbow to your knee. A few more. Let's lower your right hand down. Now your right foot opens up to the side. We meet in this gate pose or side plank on our knee. We lengthen first and then exhale to touch. Two more times. Ex inhale, lengthen. Exhale, touch. Then let's bend your left leg. Left arm reaches back towards your left foot. Don't grab it yet, just going the direction towards. We stay here or an option is maybe to grab your back foot with your left hand. Or we keep the left hand in the air and we go the direction towards the left foot. One more breath here. And let's swap sides, lower yourself back into the tabletop. Extend your right leg back, left arm in front of you. Lengthen your body, inhale, 
on your exhalation, knee to elbow. Trying to harmonize the movement with the breath. Let's lower the left hand down. Open up your left foot to the side gate pose, lifting the right arm up. Right leg is lifting up as well. First we lengthen and then on the exhalation, knee to elbow. Few more. Then let's bend your right leg right arm reaches back, still don't catch it yet, just going the direction towards it. Right leg is bent. Here an option is to grab the foot or continue to go the direction towards it. If you have grabbed the foot, you can imagine you want to push your right foot away from your body. One breath here. And on the exhalation, we meet in a downward looking dog. So making your way over there. Adding some movement into your downward looking dog. Maybe bending one leg, the other. So pedaling your legs. Let's lift your right leg high, open up your hip. You can bend the right leg. Stay here for a moment, inhale. And then your right foot goes into the front of your mat. We meet in a high lunge. Arms can be lifting up for a moment. Inhale here. And on the exhalation, interlace your hands behind you. Shoulder blades together. One more breath over here. On the exhalation, left hand down, spine twist. We lift the right arm up. An option is to lower the back knee down or back knee up, you decide. And let's make big circles with your top arm. Last big circle. And now we will extend the front leg and bend it. Your arms can stay on the ground or in the air. Now we transition through this movement, extending and bending a few more times. Lower the hands down. Let's meet into the plank position. Maybe knees down, knees up. Let's lower your body down and your choice of back bend. Maybe higher back bend or little back bend, whichever you prefer. Wherever we are, we push the ground away from us, lengthening our neck. Breath in and downward looking dog. Let's lift the left leg high, open up the hip, bend the left leg. Let's stay here for a moment. Pushing the ground away from us. Doing very well. And then left foot in between your hands into the high lunge. Arms are lifting up. Let's interlace the fingers in a more awkward way. So the other index finger is in the front. Extending the arms, shoulder blades together. Maybe bringing the hands away from your glutes. So making a little gap over there. 
and perhaps feeling some sensation in the front of your shoulders when you do so. Inhale here. Exhale on your own rhythm. Let go of the hands and right hand down. Left arm reaches up. Spine twist. Back knees down or not up, you decide. And let's start to make big circles with your top arm. So when you make the circles, explore what is happening in the body. So for example, what other parts are involved when you make the circles with the arms? So maybe your chest is looking to the side, then looking down. Last big circle and lower the back knee down, extend the front leg, flex the foot. And let's continue through this motion, extending and bending. Let's lower the hands down, plank pose. Knees down, knees up, lower your body down and your choice of back bend. Let's meet in the puppy pose. So stay on your knees. Your hips can be above your knees. Let's extend the arms in front. Lowering the forearms down as if you'd like to stretch your armpits. Maybe lowering the forehead on the ground. One more breath here. Exhale. Tuck your toes under. Squat pose. And heels down or heels up, again, doesn't matter. Over here, your arms can go inside your inner thighs. Let's extend your left arm up, reaching up and swapping the other arm up, so right arm up. Swap a few more times. Come back into the center. Let's extend the legs into a forward fold and bend them two more times. Lower your glutes down, extend the legs, shake the legs. Now we will bend your left leg, so left foot goes towards your left hip and the right leg goes into a half butterfly position. So here a few options. We will bring the hands behind us and engage your left glute. So as if you'd like to push your hip up. We stay here or you come on to the forearms. Or if that's comfortable, you lower your spine, your back down on the ground. Arms wherever it's comfortable, if you're laying on your back. Let's just take a couple of moments here. And my invitation is for you to continue to squeeze your left glute. So as if you'd like to push the left hip up. This often might create a little bigger sensation in the area in the front left leg. Mm -hmm. 
One more breath wherever you are. And slowly we will meet in the seated position. So if you're laying on your back, help yourself with the hands, lifting yourself up. Now let's extend your left leg in front of you. And now we are here in this more or less tree shape position. Let's lift the arms up and forward fold, folding onto your left leg. One breath over here. Come back into the center and now put the soles of your feet together into a full butterfly. Imagine that you'd like to push your knees towards the ground. So using your muscles, maybe you're pushing the soles of the feet together and then opening at the same time the knees towards the ground. Inhale here. And now we bend the right leg, right foot goes towards the right hip. Hands back, you engage your right glute, pushing it slightly up, maybe forearms on the ground if you'd like more intensity, or maybe your spine, your back goes down on the ground. Wherever you are, I think the most interesting sensation is when we squeeze the glute and when we push the right hip slightly up. So it doesn't matter if you're laying on the ground or if not. My invitation is for you to squeeze the right glute. Inhale here. Exhale. One more time. If you're laying on your back, really help yourself with the arms to lift yourself slowly. Extend the right leg eventually. Lifting the arms up. And on your exhalation, forward fold, folding on your right leg. One more breath. Slowly lift yourself back up. Let's meet in a seated position. Spine twist to one direction. Looking back behind you. Spine twist to the other direction. Come back into the center, drop your chin towards the chest and half circles to one side. Half circles to the other side. Come back into the center. Now look to the right. And then look to the left. Once again, look to the right. Look to the left. Looking back in front, take your fingertips and rein massage, gently tapping your fingertips to your head. Inhalation here. Exhale, lower the hands down. Okay, so we are finished with this everyday flow. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it felt good for your body. I'm sending greetings from the land in Gigbayri, Turkey. And I wish you a very beautiful day ahead and hope to see you very soon for another yoga session here on my YouTube channel.